So, set up fine, good. Shoulders okay. There's a bit of a sort of a, a twist. Sometimes you can get a little bit more closed off with the shoulders, but generally speaking, you're pretty good. As you move the club back here now, I mean, your lower half there isn't really moving and your arms are kind of pulling you away, which then when you get that kind of halfway back position here, your shoulders are basically there. Your hips are kind of barely moved and the knee's very static. So you've just been pulled around with your arms. Then as you get to the top of the back, so now you have to sort of keep going and try and force the back swing. Come back to golf ball, your strike's been an issue as a result of that big cut you cross you and now you get away with those sort of nine nine and wedges because obviously they're just short clubs and you're good enough to hit a golf ball with a short club okay as you get the longer clubs that require a little bit more speed and zip to them if you can't create that zip you're going to struggle so you've got to feel that and that when the club gets roughly about here chest high we want to see that with your shoulder angle okay so as we're going back here now we're turning that shoulder so the right shoulder is getting behind you when your left arm gets onto that red line there you go your shoulders now pretty much turned to target yeah so you're creating a rotation the knees are working better the hips are rotating if you're being hypercritical that that my those are a bit too high up too early no no, no i wouldn't say so no no no, no that's only fair i mean no I mean, the good thing is that look at your, look at the back of your glove or the glove hand the, yeah. the logo there's no real twist or manipulation with that and i reckon if you look back at this one we'd see so yeah. there, there, you go, there you go. Yeah. yeah so that fanning and that using your hands and arms, the logo's like half seen and there it is quickly. Yeah. Whereas this one now, it's kind of more a movement with the body. And obviously, we'll then open up on the way back. When you get to there, that for me is a good spot. Yeah. yeah. I mean, there, once there's anything major, then from here now, because your arms are going to be a lot higher, you can move. There's a nice shift into your left side there. It's going to help the strike. Okay. You're moving back down the golf ball. Dropping the hands as well. Yeah, well, not bad. So you're getting a nice kind of down there. Okay, and then release through to follow through. This looked a bit kind of awkward with the follow through because you kind of like pulled it a little bit left, but generally speaking, good finish movement, okay? But that's the key thing, getting the body to move the club initially. So your only focus is him and him doing that <laughs> behind you. Yeah, taking these things. Just Like I said, when I said hold my iPad, now hand the iPad to me, what did you do? Yeah. You just moved. You didn't think about oh, how do I move my body to hand the, the iPad to him. You just went, there you go. Yeah, you wouldn't know. go, Rook. But no, it's like, I always think to do it with a driver, but uh, probably, probably a bit more kind of, I want to give it. Yeah. yeah. Maybe more wind up and a, more of a power move. And with the iron, sometimes it's a bit of a, oh, I don't want to go too fast or I to go too far. They're more accuracy clubs. Yeah, they are more accurate clubs, but you still got to move the body. If you're doing a smaller swing, I'd still expect the arms to be, the, the body to rotate to that extent. Just your arm be back a little bit less. As you then swing through, if you do a small little chip shot, your body's still going to be facing the target, just your arms will be down here somewhere. So you'd finish like that, yeah? yeah. Small little chip shot. So, okay, mate. Super job. Good stuff, right?